I felt some numbness on the back of my thigh and my mum was like, right, we're going to the emergency department. And then they did an MRI scan and they found a tumour in my right pelvis. Well, it's to raise funds for well, the company Engenic, who is doing my current treatment. Um, they work on nanocell technology and um, also the funds are coming to me and my family. The beginning of last year, um, I was working as a nurse educator, and um, you know we have a had a very comfortable life and uh, what have you. And um, because I'm a single parent, um, when we were flown to Sydney, obviously I couldn't return to work after the Christmas break, and um, I subsequently lost my job. And um, yeah, so things you know they, they change on a dime. I obviously had to be there for Jake. I couldn't and can't go back to work uh, at the moment, so. We're just trying to uh, get by, and what Jake wants is normality. So, and some of that normality costs a bit of money, and we're trying to keep our house. Um, so, we're just we're just trying to keep things normal for for, for Jake. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Where's he going? All right, go right. Go right. Go right. Do you know how to get to Port Macquarie? I know how to get to Port. I just don't know how to get on the other side to um, Stu. Yeah, go right. Uh, Davidson. Davidson's been sent for the sit bit. here to support young Jake, uh, raise some money for some medication that he needs and um, the whole community's got right behind it so it's been great. Oh we've had a great time, uh, it's been great to catch up with the, uh, the locals around here and uh, doing a fundraiser for a great cause for a young kid Jake, it's been a uh, really good weekend. So friendly and so welcoming, and um, it's it's just been amazing. They've just been absolutely wonderful and really embraced the play for Jake events that, that have been going on. I think it was pretty hard going in the golf yesterday. It was so hot out there. Don't think of rugby league or union, all right? So you can pass it wherever you want in this game. Think of it like basketball, all right? Yeah. Without shooting a hoop, okay? Yeah. So you can pass it wherever you want. Run into how many people you want. Um, and yeah, my biggest tip to you guys, keep your wheels moving. So try not to be stationary. My name's Riley Batt, I'm co-captain of the Australian Paralympic team uh, and captain of the Australian wheelchair rugby team and I am absolutely pumped to be here today for uh, the play for Jake. It's, it's such a great cause, you know, Jake is a phenomenal kid and uh, I cannot wait to get out in the court with him today and uh, pick on some of his heroes. <laughs> Over here. 
We all good? Oh. Oh. Jake's deteriorated a bit with his cancer and unfortunately, you know, was in a wheelchair as of last year. So for us, we heard about this and wanted him to be involved with us at our training sessions of wheelchair rugby. And, um, you know, when I first met him and saw what sort of wheelchair he was in, he really struggled with his independence. And I don't think he was happy and didn't accept the wheelchair. But since he's now, now come and uh, trained with us, he's sort of seen a new light and he really enjoyed it. And um, I know what it was like as a teenager, um, you know, being in a wheelchair. It's very hard to compete on the same level playing field as your friends. So for him, he felt like he was on the same level playing field as us. And um, the smile on his face, mate, it was just phenomenal. So look, he's gaining independence. He's getting better in the wheelchair. And hopefully he's got a bit more value in life now. Go, yep. Oh, Jake, go! Hold your head! He's trying to get there before he gets taken out. Oh, and he's over. Well done. Nice job, mate. Come on. Bring you back the old days when you play the wing. Oh, no! It's opening up as the game goes on. Oh, Jake. Go, Jake! Yeah, Jake! He's definitely helped a lot because um, he, it just makes wheelchair life a lot easier, so he's pretty inspiring. It's pretty cool to meet the first um, person in the world to have it with the Which is why you've got a star on your head. Superstar! Superstar! <laughs> Alright, let's go. Everyone quiet please. This is a special for Jake. Hey Jake, it's Damien Cook here. Mate, I'm very sorry that we couldn't be there this weekend. Uh, but please keep fighting. Uh, we're all here for you mate. And I uh, hope you have a great weekend too. Cheers. Hey Jake, it's Tom Burgess here and a few of the Rabbit Oz teammates. Just wanted to send you a quick message mate and say all the best this weekend. Uh, we're sorry we can't be up there but we'll be there in spirit. And uh, we just want to let you know we're all behind you here at the South. So let's go, Jake. Go, Jake. Go, buddy. Best part. I think he's on a high after, you know. He just seems like now it's, he's been going for like a day and a half or you know, two days sort of thing, and he's he's still buzzing. You can see like how much how much it's moving him too, which is great. It's interesting. They refer to us up here as South Legends, but but he's the true legend, and it's it's. You know, we sometimes have things happen to us in life that maybe we'd, we're not too thrilled about, but you see something like that and you see the courage and the, and the attitude and you realise how we've just got to appreciate every bit of our life. It's amazing to watch him. He, he shows no signs of, of anything at all and he just carries on and uh, you got to look at him and you shake your head, it's just amazing. It's pretty inspiring actually, like the way he's held himself and carried himself over the weekend, it's been great. He's a terrific kid. He. Uh, He's got his hands full, and uh, it's hard, you know, it's, it's hard um, to have to see him go through it. He's only a 15 year old boy. Um, but he's. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully, this will give him a good kick along, you know, with uh, the support he's got from the South boys. So. And the local community, he's got a lot of support around here, um, which is good to see. Um, a, a, a terrific people. So I love how he, like, because of his kicking, it's, just, it's amazing and he's just a great player. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. What's going on? 
<laughs> it was a surprise? Yeah. <laughs> How was the last couple of days? It's been fun? Yeah, it's been really good. That was really cool. Um, I was very excited to meet him. Um, yeah, that was really good. Glad it was a surprise and no one gave it away. Um, even though Mum, uh, I, she nearly did. Yeah, it was um, <laughs> quite awesome to meet him. He's got a great story. Obviously, he's, he's going through a bit at the moment, but he's got great support around him. He's, he's had a great weekend and. Um, it's obviously good to get out and um, support him. I like the haircut too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I had my hair blonde and then I was like, oh, I should dye it uh, red and green. Just his, you know, will to keep fighting. You know, just chatting to him then, he's, he's pretty inspirational to talk to. Actually, he's uh, said his hip was a bit sore, but he kept going in sport the other day and uh, his, his drive to keep going was um, something that I really took away from that. I was going to say, I might have to get it, but I don't think, Wayne won't let me play with it, so. <laughs> Certainly after meeting him, um, you know, having a, you know, a bit to do with him, obviously I'm, I'm going to have him in the back of my mind. Uh, everything he's going through can drive us to be better and, um, you know, not to take things for granted, obviously. He's going through a tough time, but he's still fighting, so, um, yeah, he's certainly inspirational. Super proud. He's, he's, he's grown up so much because he's had to in the last 12 months and he, he, he is a very incredible young man and um, I think the feedback from others this weekend has, uh, has demonstrated that, that that's very much the case, that in adversity you can, you know, you can still shine very, very brightly. And I, I scored the most you goals. Did. You scored the most goals. Mm. Yeah, def or definitely the best weekend, yeah. Um, it's been really, really, really good. Um, yeah, amazing, amazing time. Yeah.